Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. This is happening now. The person that is shirtless is Joseph Jordan. And he is trying to explain to someone who is on the phone, the, the guy is holding the phone and Joseph Jordan is speaking into it to someone who sent a crew of people to remove a tree. And Joe Jordan is, is trying his best to explain that the tree is on his property. He doesn't want the tree removed. Okay. I, this is the tree. I'll, sh well, I'll show you the tree as I go along. Yeah. So he, while he's there talking, people are referring to him by names. You know, the guy, even the guy holding the phone, he's his lap, you know, he, he, he finds it amusing. But I find that everything that surround what's happening in Sunset Crest, Fla Fla Flamboyant Avenue, this is the tree they want to remove, Flamboyant Avenue, everything that's happening there, it may seem unremarkable to the normal eye. And maybe some things are just not readily understood. Maybe it's hard for people to, to conceptualize what's going on there in the Sunset Crest area. But for me, and I speak always, not well, not always, when I give you blogs, I give you from that person's point of view, but this is my opinion, okay? My opinion. You cannot talk to me about the slave codes and tell me that slavery was illegal, illegal for centuries, and then try to tamp me down to make me think that all the, all the laws you've created and all the things you have done since then is, is as white as the driven snow. You cannot tell me that. If, if civilization, if civilization accepted slavery as part of the laws and part of the happening in the land, earth at, at a certain time, you've shown me that you're broken and your laws do not always mean that you are correct. You make laws to do what you want to do. You make laws to to get an edge, to get to get ahead. You make laws to tamp people down. So you cannot talk to me about the homeowners association in Sunset Crest. Okay, the Sunset Crest Property Owners Inc. You cannot really talk to me about that with any kind of resolve because. I know that even here in the United States, people are being so it's, it's being suggested to people do not buy into any sort of development that has a homeowners association because what is happening is the government or the taxpayers don't want to be bothered. They don't want to be bothered. So they, they hire people to police you and to control you and to tell you you can't paint your house in that color. You can't you have that kind of mailbox out in front of your house. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. That's what a homeowners association is there for, to regulate you. And, and they pressure you. And people crumble under the weight of homeowners associations and the way they are enforced. Okay? There's, there are a lot of lawsuits now in the United States to either get rid of them or to tamp them down, to, to reel them in, to, because it's out of control. These homeowners asso associations are out of control, and it's because taxpayers became lazy. The government has other things that they are bothered and have to do, so they give that power to an association to keep a neighborhood or a certain section of the community under control, you know, move your mailbox and move your, 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 your garbage can and don't do this and move that rock and move that glass. You need to not be so lazy. You need to actually be accountable for yourself as a human being. You don't need all these laws and all these rules and regulations because you can see what happened in the past. There were slave codes. There were slave codes. Slavery was legal because you gave too much power to other people. You gave your power away. And that's what is happening with these associations, these homeowners associations. When you sign, when you buy and you sign off to live in these particular places that, that have homeowners associations or some sort of association, you're giving your power away. 
you are giving your power away. So what is happening now? This is happening now. And I'm going to have, I'm going to try to get Joel Jordan on my show. But surely um, Patricia Benedict will come on. But I'm going to try to get them both to come on and talk about what's happening in Sunset Crest. And like I say, like I said, it's going to be hard for you to really get it, get it into your system that, that, what's what and what's not because i'm not even saying joe jordan is correct i'm not saying he's incorrect i'm just saying it's a situation that's hard to handle it's a situation that's hard to to, to to resonate within who you are because this is one person one person saying i own this and then there are a whole set of other people that that are saying no you don't no you don't so it needs to be talked about it needs to be resolved and hopefully Hopefully, you know, we can have this thing discussed on my show and maybe legal, the legalese, the, not legalese, but the legal eagles, the, 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 the top people in the legal system there in Barbados probably will need to take a look at this and tell the people of Barbados, tell the people what's what and what's not. This is Sherry Veronica.